Now, assuming you read the title of the video, you already know what's going on here. But if you didn't, well, you silly duffer, boy are you in for a surprise. Because how cool are monkeys? Look at these little devils, just swinging, chilling in trees, eating fruit all day. These guys are like living a good life, I'm telling you. They got this whole survival thing sorted out. So for a bit of info, the primate family has three main groups. We got the monkeys, we got the apes, and we got the other one that we're not going to talk about because they all look like old spider hands with freaky eyes over here. Whoa, slow down, John. My feeble, smooth brain can't handle all this monk. Oh, but I know, dear viewer, I know. So using my big evolved brain, I composed a list of the top monkeys and apes. Also, this list will not be including any of these because in the simplest terms, they suck. Also, this video might not seem like it, but it actually took quite a while to research all these different monkeys. So if you could leave a like, maybe subscribe, then maybe the hours I spent looking at apes will finally be validated. So without further ado, grab your bananas, start walking on all fours, and let's go ape mode. Now, you've heard of chimps, those cool looking dudes that took over the world in that one movie. Now, they are pretty cool, however, the western chimpanzee is just a little bit cooler than the rest. The western chimpanzee is found in, you guessed it, West Africa. Now unfortunately they are critically endangered so my heart really goes out to these homies, they're going through some hard times right now. But my favourite thing about these boys is that they do something no other chimp does. <clears throat> western chimpanzees have been known to make wooden spears to hunt other primates. These chimps are smart enough to make their own weapons and then proceed to engage in warfare with other tribes and primates. Now while this is a freaking boss mode play from the western chimp, they really established themselves in the primate world. They don't really have much else going for them, which is why they only reach number 10 on this list. <laughs> Now, this one is something of a classic. When I think monkey, I think of the rhesus macaque. They live in areas of India and China and some other bordering countries, but they occupy the largest area of any non-human primate. Uh, they can live in trees, mountains, or they just straight up live in cities. However, usually when they do live in cities, they either steal food like champs, or just straight up giving it, because I mean, if this handsome young man came up to you, wouldn't you give some bread or, I don't know, like a bag of chips? But basically, one macaque was apparently so handsome that people would come for miles to give him food, resulting in him growing to more than twice the usual weight for a macaque and being given the loving nickname, Uncle Fatty. But not only did people bring him food, but other macaques would bring him snacks they themselves had acquired. Whether they did this because they thought it was funny or because they would bring him offerings in exchange for words of divine wisdom like some wicked monkey Buddha, However, unfortunately, two years ago, Uncle Fatty disappeared into the woods of Thailand and after not being seen for five months, was presumed dead. So in honour of this absolute legend, the number nine spot on this list goes to the rhesus macaque. Rest in peace, Uncle Fatty. Number eight, another West Africa primate, is the Guinea baboon. These species, like all baboons, have abnormally large incisors, giving them the innate ability to bite your face off. But when they are not mutilating faces, they are too busy showing off their own because every picture I could find of them made them look like they are posing for a photo shoot. Don't tell me there aren't models out there who would kill to look like this. This guy, right here, he knows how gorgeous he is and he is showing it off for anyone who is looking and let me assure you, everyone is looking. But if any female baboon should refuse a man this handsome, which I can't imagine happening often, they will, quote, shriek at them and run up a tree. Its good looks and personality land at number 8 on this list. Number 7 is what we in the business call the Golden Lion Tamron, and I think you can see why. With a glorious mane like that, they're most definitely deserving of that name. Now, they are only in, found in three small areas of Brazil, and they get number seven on this list, because I promised that if I did, they would share the secrets of how they got their fur so smooth, silky, and radiant. 
and I put them at number seven, but they won't tell me because it turns out they are monkeys and do not speak any human language. When they do speak though, it just sounds like this. So, you know, I can't understand what they're saying, but it's music to my ears, and it's the reason they land their cute little faces at number seven. Now, like their chimp cousins, the Sumatran orangutan has also been observed using tools. However, these apes prefer a more passive approach rather than using tools to hunt. They're more like a hermit than a hunter. Instead, they use these tools to dig around for honey in bees' nests, or use rocks to crack open nuts. However, my favourite use of a tool has been that multiple orangutans have been observed using large leaves as umbrellas. And I don't know why, but never has a single image moved me so much. Now, you've probably heard all this yada yada, orangutans endangered, and I'm saying, hey, shut it, WWF, you populist scum. But this is a feel-good channel, so we're just going to talk about how orangutans are actually jacked. I mean, underneath this flabby exterior lies like the heart and soul of an Austrian bodybuilder. I mean, look at this. This 90 kilogram ape is just casually swinging itself through the trees. Never has such an animal mastered the art of not giving a single fuck. <laughs> Before we go into the top 5, let's just sit back, relax, maybe have a little drink, oh what's that, your refreshing beverage was stolen by a monkey? Well that must have been one of these little devils, the vervet monkey. Now they originally found in West Africa, however a small colony was taken over to the Caribbean where they flourished in the tropical climate, and where there is a tropical climate, there are also tropical cocktails. So basically, this first colony of monkeys started drinking the fermented sugarcane they found on plantations, which as it turns out, is quite alcoholic. Nowadays, they've adapted to the chill Caribbean way of life and steal from bars and tourists to get absolutely hammered. Here's a clip I found from the BBC of a monkey being drunk. Mad respect to this guy for just living life how he wants. The chillest of all monkeys gets number five on this list. <laughs> Now, I knew I had to include a gorilla somewhere on this list, and I was really struggling to decide which one, until I noticed the standout western lowland gorilla. That's for a few reasons. Number one being its scientific name, Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla, which in turn makes it the most gorilla gorilla. The second reason being that two of the most famous gorillas were part of this species. First is Snowflake, the only known albino gorilla in the world. This guy basically won the genetic lottery and became like the drippiest member of his entire species, which is way cooler than our second gorilla, the internet meme Harambe. Now, Harambe is pretty cool, I guess, considering his claim to fame was, you know, getting shot. So in my opinion, Snowflake is just superior on every level. However, the stars that burn the brightest burn half as long, because the fine print of Snowflake's genetic condition also gave him skin cancer. Rest in peace, Snowflake. Not you, Bullet Boy. Now, as we step into the top three, this is where it started getting hard for me to decide, mostly between second and third place. However, for third, I decided to go with Wolf's Gwenon. And they are called this because, like a wolf, they are dedicated killing machines refined by thousands of years of evolution. No, not really, they were just named after this guy. The term wolf actually couldn't be more wrong, because they're not dedicated hunters at all. They instead chose to put all their points into diplomacy, because these guys have just been known to chill and hang around with other monkeys, and even bonobos, which are kind of like chimps. However, the bonobos have also been known to occasionally hunt them sometimes, so uneasy friendship there. Can we also talk about how this might be the most aerodynamic of all monkeys? This dude's just looking like the Flash, like he could start sprinting at 50 miles an hour and I wouldn't blink an eye. Now, but before we get to number one, we do need to do number two, which in this case is the Angolan Talapu. And I mean, look at this cute little guy. 
If I saw a baby getting mauled by a grizzly on one side of the road and an Angolan Tlapwin on the other side, I would go over to the baby that's getting mauled and make it get mauled faster so I could spend more time with this guy. They're also considered some of the best swimmers in the monkey world and have been known to sleep on branches overhanging rivers and will just drop into the water and swim away if they feel threatened. And while they do have a lesser vocal range than other monkeys, they don't need it. Because, to be honest, the real reason these guys came in second is because I was looking at a picture. This picture. And this cheeky little smile was the only thing to convince me that these guys needed to be second on this list. <laughs> Now we get to what you've all been waiting for. However, if you know the first thing about primates, or know anything about me, then you already knew what number one was going to be. First time I saw a Simon Gibbon, I thought, my goodness, what a handsome little ape you are. But then it inhaled and showed off its neck sack. Its glorious neck sack. And at that moment, I knew they were going to be number one on a list that I hadn't even come up with yet. Now, gibbons fall somewhere between the classic monkeys and gorillas, but way better than both because I guess the semen gibbon said, no, screw you traditional forms of communication, I'm going to evolve a neck sack that just makes cool noises. But not only do they sound awesome, among apes though, they've also been known to have incredibly long limbs, as well as the nimblest hands. Meaning they can just do shit like this that other lesser primates cannot. Now I quickly looked it up and apparently gibbons have been known to swing at 55 kilometers per hour and just jump like 10 meters without giving a shit. And no, I'm not converting those units into Imperial because I've been spending my time doing something way, way cooler that I will show to you now. Dear viewers, I present you with my finest creation, <laughs> Gibbon Remix. <laughs> Now, if that doesn't convince you that the Simon Gibbon deserves number one, I don't know what will. Anyway, thank you for watching. Tried something a little different today. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Stay monkey, my dudes. <laughs>